DFG Science TV. Discrete optimizes. Many roads lead to the destination. How math simplifies our daily life. Hello, Wiebke Hoon here. Oh, hello. My name's Jens. I watch every episode of your film on DFG Science TV each week, and I noticed you often refer to mathematical theorems and proofs. Could you give me an example of one? Of course. Do you want to call again this afternoon? Okay, well, I guess you can remember the networks, can't you? I'll draw one on the board to remind you. So, we had nodes, and in between the nodes there were edges. Now then, if we take a look at one of these nodes and count the number of edges that are adjacent to it, then we have what we call the node degree. Taking a look specifically at this graph, here we have got a node degree of 2, here we have got a node degree of 3, up here we have also got a node degree of 3 and here it's 2 again. So now we are going to prove theorem which states that the number of nodes with an odd degree is always even. Hang on a moment, how many times did you say even? Okay, let's go through that again slowly. The number of nodes with an odd node degree, in other words, where an odd number of edges converge, this one and that one here is even. As you can see, it's true, they are precisely two. Okay, das ist also ein Satz. Und wie beweist man den jetzt? We built up one argument on another just like a house of cards. Okay, now that you are here, do you want to make a start with explaining the proof? All right then. Okay, we already know that each edge contributes precisely one to the degree of each node it ends at. That means that each edge contributes a total of two. Twice the number of edges is equal to the sum total of the node degrees of all the nodes. Now we can divide the sum total into two sums, firstly by just adding up the sum total of those with an even node degree and, separately, adding up the sum total of those with an odd node degree. So let's take a look at what we've got. On the left-hand side we have two times whatever, so that is always even. So we know that this left-hand side is even. Next, for this first term here, we know that we are only adding even node degrees. That means that it is also even. Now then, assuming we were to add an odd number to that, then we would be adding even plus odd, which would be odd again, but that is impossible. So we therefore know that this term here on the right also has to be even. So, assuming we had an odd number of nodes with an odd node degree, then we would have an odd number of odd numbers to add up, and that would give us another odd number, so that's impossible too. So we know that there has to be an even number of odd nodes, and that's it. Hello, Marco Lubica speaking. Oh, hello, it's me again, Jens. I've got another question. What exactly is an algorithm like? Is it a kind of formula or something? Good point. We haven't really explained that in detail so far. Let's have a look at it in detail. Just imagine, we want to solve the general problem of switching off the lights in the mathematics building in the evening. Of course, that's an easy task for a human, because we know exactly how to do it. So let's imagine instead that we want a robot to do it for us. We would have to explain everything to it in precise detail, step by step, and that explanation is the algorithm. Ah, can you believe it? Here comes our robot already. OK, the algorithm that I've programmed our robot with gives it the following instructions. Do as follows for all rooms from 501 to 512. Go to the next room. Open the door, and if the lights are on, then switch them off. Hey! Oh, I think we need to be a bit more precise for this step of the algorithm. All right, if the lights are on and there's nobody in the room, then switch the lights off. Okay, hopefully you've got it now. Yes, that's great. Thanks a lot. Now I understand. Could you explain what optimum means in the next episode, please? Visit DFG Science TV for more information. Awaken the researcher within you.